so important um, that we create total experiences. I mean, we, we have to drive awareness to get traffic, so it's about getting people into the store, into the restaurant. Once we get them there, we have to give them a great experience and try to help drive margins for our clients. And then after the fact, we have to get them to come back. We can do that through in-store posters and signage and even employee training programs. And you know, once our consumer leaves the store, we want to make sure that um, we've got programs in place to connect with them so they're coming back. So whatever loyalty programs we can create, whether it's through digital, e-direct, newsletters, um, any mm -hmm. promotion, so that they're coming back because we know that our most loyal consumers are our most profitable. And I really love that um, at I'm going to add this, sorry. Um, I love that as we're talking about what we do as an agency, we're not just talking about advertising. We're talking about business issues mm -hmm. that are important for right. our clients. And a great example of the, the brand experience model is the work that we do for Logan's. We're responsible for driving traffic into the restaurant, creating a great experience there, and then getting those customers to come back again through loyalty initiatives that we develop, all being the total brand experience. There's a freedom you find in a real roadhouse. Logan's Roadhouse. Don't dress up, just show up. It's your crowd, your tunes, your place. At Logan's Roadhouse, feel free. Have a great steak the way you want it. Drink what you like. Don't pay a lot, just kick back and enjoy. Logan's, the real American Roadhouse. As a planning department, we, we are the voice of the consumer, but um, in that sense, consumers don't respond to a percentage point or, a, you know, they respond to, a, you know, a story that right. gives them something yeah. to feel. And, I mean, we could just spend our entire life analyzing data, and that's what traditional insight dwells on. And what we've tried to create here, we've got this notion we call narrative insight. When it comes down to it, I guess we're really in the business about business of finding that story that in essence really hits really relates to people but then can be told a thousand different ways creatively insight is the first step of what we do because insight leads to um, foresight where you're really thinking ahead you're not just looking at what you see you're looking five moves ahead save a lot is a good case in point what we said is you know what you guys are a no frills grocery store but nobody knows that about you Frozen shrimp, four twenty nine. dollars Smaller stores, limited varieties, no lobster tanks. Frozen shrimp at Save-A-Lot, $2.99. Low everyday prices. It's why you save up to 40%. Save-A-Lot, just look at the receipt. Frozen pizza, six sixty nine. dollars No goat cheese topping, no pesto-infused crust. Dianora's pizza, $2.99. Only at Save-A-Lot. We deliver amazing savings. Save-A-Lot, just look at your receipt. One of the things that, that Dave and the planning team delivered us is a really simple insight and something that's really powerful and meaningful. And uh, you know, it's it's the old line about give me the freedom of a tightly crafted strategy. You know, you really have to boil it down, and that allows you to kind of use that as a jumping off point. You know, to then come up with something that's that's fresh and innovative and new and isn't like what people have seen a million times. And that's where the brand experience comes in. It's not just about pushing messages. To the, uh, to the consumers. It's getting them to engage with the brand and we get them to engage through the different platforms that we offer. Taking the best of all creative, digital, PR, and merging all that together is important in, the, in this day and age because we've got to make sure we're watching all those channels at all times. You know, especially in the retail arena. I mean, the, the death of television is, is greatly exaggerated. You know, it's not going away anytime soon. But you can't stop there. You have to continue the conversation in all the other places that consumers live. We're the three-headed monster. That's and, awesome. Yeah. And we look like it, too. Do, yeah. <laughs> mm, scratchers. <laughs>
There's a new burger at Hardee's, and it's big. Big on taste. Introducing new Slammers from Hardee's. The mini burgers with the big taste. Slammers, slam some today. Mini burgers, big taste. Only at Hardee's. Here we go now. Six is a serious number. Number. Six is the fingers on your hand plus your thumb bug. There's a lot of numbers, it's true. It's true. But six Sace. is a serious number. If you've ever been number curious, this number six stuff is serious. When the card scores six, drinks are only a quarter. The next day at On the Run, we're serious. Six. Six is a serious number. Number. Six. Is the fingers on your hand push a thumb up? Come on. Come on, it's paper mache, not titanium. Hit it. All right, here. Hold, hold on a second. Here, hold this. Thing. Take this camera. All right, hold. Hey, here. Try this. All right, guys. Hey, everybody, everybody back up. All right, Kyle, let's see it. <laughs> well, you've met our people and seen our work now, and I want to assure you that we understand the importance of results. I came up through the planning side of this agency over the past 20 years and it's all about accountability. It's understanding your customer, it's understanding how to connect with that customer through great work, and it's showing you the results. I'm Kim Boyer and I'm the president of Adamson and the buck stops with me.